I'm sure we are going to discuss a few more questions which are appeared on the exam of the placement exam of Accenture. So the first coding question is there is a guy who runs a juice shop where he has two machines M and N for making the juice. M is a big machine which can make juice for 100 customers uh, in one go while machine N can make juice for only four customers at a time. M consumes X units of power while N consumes Y units of power. Your task to find and return an integer value representing the minimum number of units of power uh, the machines will continue consume to serve P customers. Okay, he can run any combination of M and N. Okay, so here we are taking three inputs. One is integer P, which is representing the number of customers. One is inte integer X, which is representing the uh, <coughs> power consumption for M, and integer value Y, representing the power consumption N. Okay, so the output will be an integer value representing the minimum units of power that guy Tom will use to serve P customers while running any combination of M and N. So let's go to the code. So here what I have done, I am just doing here, I am just passing these three values P, X and Y through a method called power, public static in power. So here what I am doing, I am doing uh, dividing the value of P by 100 and uh, assigning that value into the integer value k, the variable k and again I'm doing p mod 100 and assigning that value to integer value l okay so right now if the value of l is equal to equal to 0 then it means that there is no need to use the second machine okay as we know that the first machine can make half uh, juice for the hundred customers at a time okay so so that's the thing we are doing here so suppose that uh, the number of customer is 105 105 so what i'm doing here k is equal to 105 divided by 100 so what will be the output that will be 1 so 1 is storing in the value of k and l is equal to p mod 100 so 105 mod 100 so the output is 5 okay uh, and the k value is 1 and the l value is 5 so here we are checking that if the value of L is 0 then we don't need to use the second machine okay so that's why I'm returning K K representing how, ma how many times we are going to use the first machine so in this case the first machine we are going to is use only for one time so I'm returning K into X 1 into X X representing the power consumption by the first machine means m else if l less than 4 so it means that if the value of l comes less than 4 then we need to use that uh, second machine only for one time so that's why you are doing returning k into x plus y okay as because uh, we are going to use the second machine for the one time that's why I am writing in only y here and else if the value of the L is greater than 4 then what you need to do we are initializing another integer variable t is equal to L by 4 okay so in this case the value of L is 
5 so it's greater than 4 so what I'm doing t is equal to L by 4 means 5 by 4 the output is 1 so I'm storing the value 1 into the variable integer variable t and checking again if L mod 4 not equal to 0 means 5, four, 5 mod 4 not equal to 0 then we will increase the value of t once if it is 0 then we just only return k into x plus t into y but in this case what we are checking that uh, seeing that uh, 5 mod 4 it will be 1 so it's not equal to 0 so that's why we are increasing one more time t so uh, what we are doing here so the outcome of, of this logic is we are we need to run the second machine twice in this case and uh, we are returning k into x plus t into y so let's check this output here so let's run the code okay the number of customer is 105 the power consumption by AM is 80 unit and the power consumption by N is 10 unit so I have checked that output that um, calculated that one before so the output should be 100 okay so why 100 105 in the K <coughs> 1 is going to store in the L 5 is going to store if L equal to equal to 0 then it will return K into X but in this case the value of L is 5 which is greater than 4 so what we are doing int t is equal to L by 4 means the value of t is 1 and if L mod 4 not equal to 0 so L mod 4 is 1 it is also not equal to 0 so that's why we are increasing the value of t one more time t plus plus and then we are returning k is 1 1 into 80 plus 2 into 10 so 80 plus 20 100 so the output is 100 unit okay so now let's go to the second question and the second question is very much basic type of questions like it's taking an input and taking a, another input of a string so the first input is uh, like an integer value n so we need to return a string value where the string we are, which we are taking input we need to repeat the string n times in that string okay that is the basic thing so I am not going to discuss this one in that details I am just passing that value the string value and the value of n through a method called result and here I am initializing another string variable k at the return type of this method is string I'm just initializing a for loop limiting by means initializing the iterator i from 0 and limiting it at uh, n and just concatenating the string here inside the string k and returning that k that's the thing I'm doing so let's check this oh something I got an error oh ho okay let's remove this one yeah now it's okay so the number should uh, the value of n is suppose 3 and the string is kbc okay so the output should be kbc kbc and kbc so the output is kbc kbc and kbc okay 
so now let's go to the second question okay sorry the third question the third question is here the two players are playing snake water and gun okay so the rule is snake beats water water beats gun and gun beats snake so we will get two inputs one an integer value we are taking which is representing the number of turns that these two players are playing this one means number of rounds and another string where we are getting the moves done by the these two players like this one snake water okay so suppose the value of n is 2 so then they are doing as per example snake water gun snake so in this way we are getting the input so what you need to calculate you need to calculate how many turns a is winning okay so so let's go to the code i have written down the code i am passing the string value and the now value n through a method check a it's a this method is returning integer value and here initially i am <coughs> initializing a in another integer value uh, variable i as 0 and count in 0 and initializing a very uh, for loop where i am initializing j as is equal to 0 and limiting it at n okay so after that i'm checking if str dot caret i is equal to is equal to s s representing snake so then i am calling another method if snake or water and passing that string value and the value of i so i'm going there yeah so here it's checking again if it is snake or water after that it's checking if the value of is str dot caret i plus 5 why i'm doing i plus 5 as because if there is water after snake then a will win that round so the value of the length of snake is 5 so that's why i'm doing i plus 5 is equal to is equal to w w representing the water actually w is the first character of water so i'm just checking that after five indexes if i am getting w then it will return true here it will return true here okay so then the count variable will increase and the value of i will be increased as i plus 10 as because the value of length of snake is 5 and length of water is also 5 so 5 plus 5 10 so i'm skipping uh, the, this much uh, indexes as because we need to go to the second round we need to check the second round that's why so else if it doesn't satisfy then what we are doing then in the else block if str dot caret i plus 5 is equal to is equal to s means if there is snake after snake means am the move done by a is snake and move done by b it is also snake then there is a tie no one is winning so then also we are doing i is equal to i plus 10 so snake length and snake length both are 5 so 5 plus 5 10 else <clears throat> if there is gun snake uh, after the after the snake there is gun means a is losing here as because we have seen check that gun is defeating snake okay so on that time also a is not doing so what we are doing i is equal to i plus 8 as because the length of gun is 3 so 5 plus 3 8 then so the same thing i have done for water also okay so i'm just checking it is if there is w or not i'm initializing the it's calling that very uh, method again snake or water and here water is defeating gun so that's why i'm i have done here i is equal to i plus 8 
else if there is water it is also the val uh, the length is 5 uh, if there is snake also the va very values means the length is 5 both the cases so that's why in the else section i'm just only doing i is equal to i plus 10 okay now i'm doing the else thing else there is a another one option uh, there if it is gone so else if it is gone then again i'm calling another method gone i'm passing the string value and the value of i here so this is the method so i'm just checking that after three uh, indexes if it is s or not s representing the snake so the val uh, value of length of gun is 3 so that's why I'm doing if str.caret i plus 3 if there is snake or not it's there is s in, uh, or not the character so if it is s then it will return true otherwise uh, so then on that time the counter will be increased okay yes huh? the, then the counter will be increased and the value of i will be increased as 8 okay why 8 as because gun is defeating snake so the length of gun is 3 and the length of snake is 5 3 plus 5 8 else it is checking again if there is water then it is it will uh, increase i is equal to i plus 8 as because the length of water is 8 if there is else there is uh, if there is gun again gun after gun so then i will increase i is equal to i plus 6 3 plus 3 6 so that's why okay so this for loop then how many times is uh, iterating so it's iterating up to n times n means it is representing the number of rounds okay so let's run this code yeah so enter the number of rounds so pose i'm giving number of rounds is two i'm entering the moves snake water gun water okay then i'm what i'm entering snake water gun water snake water means snake is defeating water it means then that means for for the first round a is going to win but for the second round gun and water for the second round b is winning so the total number of rounds won by a is here one so output should be one yes you can see that output is one again i am running this code okay so enter the number of rounds suppose i am giving here four okay so the string is gun snake gun water snake snake and water gun okay so let's check this one so it will be gun snake here a is winning gun water here a is losing snake snake it is tie and water gun so again here a is winning so total rounds won by a is two yes the number of successful move by a is a uh, two so that's it for today so if you know any better process to solve this course so then please mention these codes into the comments thank you and bye bye